Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blaze Nier, and as you can see in front of you today, we've got this brand new 92 overall Amethyst Moments of the Week, Jason Tatum. He essentially got his moments for not only just hooping since the season has started, but mainly for the game winner that he landed on the New York Knicks, sending those bad boys home, man. This Tatum, I'm not gonna lie, the man's been hooping to start the season. Not to say that I've been trying to tune into every Celtics game, I've actually just been trying to tune into every single NBA game that I can, because the NBA is so exciting so far to start the season and every game has just been fun to watch except for the Bulls. I try to watch the Bulls but you guys are just so bad at defense. I'm sorry Bulls fans it's just it's just the way it is man but uh, this Tatum, the Celtics, they've been hooping and the main reason I've been watching this Tatum to be honest is because he's on my fantasy team and he's been bringing in numbers and it's not like I'm becoming a Tatum fan or like those Celtic fans who are super obsessed with Tatum saying he's only 21 no I'm not like that but I am gonna say this man's hooping and he's definitely Definitely showing that he's going to be a superstar in the future of this league but today we're gonna to be getting a gameplay on this man as always if you guys do want to show some support a like is always appreciated let's aim for 450 likes on today's video but without further ado let's go ahead and let's dive into the stats you can see he's a small forward with a secondary of a power forward 94 offensive overall 85 defense 6'8, 208 pounds stats are not looking too bad 88 driving layup I do wish he had somewhat of a post fadeaway but it's looking like no post game whatsoever he does have a 91 mid-range and an 87 open three now hopefully Tatum's release isn't too bad I used the emerald one I think in domination once and I didn't like the release that he has maybe it's changed though I don't know he's got an 88 free throw though 90 driving dunk 81 ball handling so he actually can't speed boost that is quite unfortunate because he won't be able to create his own shot uh, defensively kind of terrible 84 perimeter defense is nice and all but 46 steel is definitely not it the speed is honestly not too bad for a small forward at all. Uh, hustle is all right. Lateral quickness in 84. Honestly, I thought it would be worse. And then same thing goes for the defensive consistency and stuff. But uh, yeah, top to bottom on paper. Obviously, this card doesn't really look like anything special. But Celtics fans are going to be using this card. So I do want to find out how nice he is. He does have one Hall of Fame badge, which is going to be Clutch Shooter. No surprise there. He does also come with 26 gold badges. I'm really hoping he comes with at least gold quick draw. He's got bailout stop and go catch and shoot dead eye deep fades how does he have gold deep fades without a fadeaway that doesn't make any sense to me but a green machine quick draw and range extender that is super nice steady shooter volume shooter so he's definitely got all the offensive badges we're gonna need for today's video hopefully we can do some work with this tatum but uh without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what this tatum is all about baby Let's get into it. All right, and let's see what our matchup's looking like today. He's got Mark Price, John Wall, who I've been wanting to do a gameplay on but never got around to it. Lou Hudson, Kevin Love, and George Mirson. The man is back. All right, Tatum, let's get to work. All right, boys and girls, let's get into this game. I'm going to go into a pick and fade here with Tatum, actually, and see if I can get open off this. Catch. Oh, bro. All right, let's go into a deep fade super quick before the buzzer expires. Gold deep fades is not bailing us out, but D-Rob is. Good defense there by Stockton. Let's push the pace. Oh, I see Tatum. Catch and shoot. He's got that same weird release, but it's going down this time. He doesn't have that super OP release that he had last year. Honestly, this one's not that bad, though. Thank you, bro. My team is playing defense. I think this guy might be out of here a little sooner than we wanted. Right to Tatum. Oh, that's not Tatum. That's Paul George. Bro, am I dumb? This wasn't exactly the best team to play, to be honest. George Mirasan doesn't seem that OP. Uh, let's go to Tatum. Pump fake. Yeah, Mirasan. I'm gone. Off the dribble here. Ooh, it looks good. And it's dropping. You know, most people call him Jason Tatum until he's got to be a knockdown shooter. Then they call him Jason Threesome. Wait, what? no. Three tum. Three. Oh my god, that sounds so sus. It's no not November, guys. Stop. All right, let's keep it going here. Thank God we're actually not really playing the toughest opponent for this Tatum gameplay. Oh my god, he's open again. Green Bean, yo, quick draw actually makes this card a dub. But anyways, like I was saying earlier, I'm kind of glad this is not the toughest opponent so we can kind of just chill this gameplay. Tatum start cutting. They're playing way too tight of a defense on you. That's an easy dunk. All right, let me focus up here. Let's get Tatum a couple more shots. I put my controller down for two seconds to try to find my charger. Didn't work out. Catch and shoot. Green. Yo, that jumper is fire. Why didn't I like that jumper at the beginning of the year? Maybe because it didn't have quick draw. But with quick draw, it's a dub. All right, so we're in the second quarter, and Tatum's got his takeover, and it literally just runs out as I say that. Catch, swing it, one more, bang! Oh, that's got to drop, man. 
It's whites like those that you really hate to see not go down. That is not, bro, my team is not playing any good defense and it's already a one point game. All right, let's not give this guy any hope that he can actually win this game. Uh, let's go into a nice little pick and roll. Somebody please give me a screen that I'm calling for. Hezo, hit that screen. Snatch, oh, that's a pass inside. Oh wow, that was actually great defense, but we get bailed out and we get the dunk. All right, Tatum, let's get back to feeding you, man, because you've been hooping, so let's not feed, stop feeding the fire, sorry. Catch, uh, D-Rob, one more pass, easy bucket. I'm liking the ball movement right now. All right, boys, it's a tie game. Let's stop playing around here. I was actually pausing the game because I was betting money on the Sixers and Suns game. I have the Suns winning today. Let me know down in the comment section below, who do you guys have winning today, the Suns or the Sixers? All this man is really doing is driving and then kicking it out, driving and kicking it out, pump fake. I tried to pump fake. Tatum's already cutting through. Gotta feed the man. Good defense there, Tatum. I never thought I'd have to say that, but great defense. Now run down the court a little faster, all the way through. Oh, why'd you go so slow on that dunk to D-Rob? Catch and shoot, green bean. All right, we've got about a minute 30 to go in this second quarter. Our team is playing pretty good. Good close out there from Jason Tatum. The contested shot's not going down today. And I see him on the fast break. Get flashy for me. All right, so guys, we're in the third quarter now. It's been a pretty easy going game. I like this game today because I don't really have to sweat playing against this guy. Pretty easy. His basic method is driving and then kicking it out every single time. Right there, he gets that dunk with that John Wall. Again, that is a card I do wish I actually got to try out. But uh, we're going to go to the money play once again, guys. It's called Quick 4 Horns Flare. Because I know you guys be asking in the comment section, HTB, what play is that? It's Quick 4. So uh, drive through, hop. Let's go to Duncan. Duncan, back to Tatum. Catch and shoot. Oh, give me those. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm actually enjoying this Jason Tatum a lot. For a man that doesn't really have ball control, he does feel pretty good with the movement. Go hit that screen. We're driving right through. Hop into it. Oh, Timmy's open. Give me those. Come on, Timmy. Let's go. Let's try to run a pick and roll here with Jason Tatum. See if this works out. Come hit that screen. Thank you. Now roll for me. I'm throwing an alley-oop. Oh, right over Carl Anthony Towns. Where are we going here? Go to Stockton. Go to Paul George, alley you it to Tatum, he's gonna just tip it in. Give me that, I baited the life out of that one. Paul George, you can take this one all the way. Get crazy and one. This Paul George is such a glitch, man. Again, running him at the two just makes him so OP. He's got seven points, four rebounds, and seven assists. All right, Tatum, let me keep feeding you. Are you they don't call you Jason Tatum, they call you Jason Three Tum. This time I got the name right, we're driving through. All the way, yo! What? He was supposed to dunk that and my square button wasn't working. All right, so this guy did decide to foul us towards the end of the third quarter. I did call a bunch of timeouts so Tatum is all rested for the fourth quarter. That way we can get crazy. Get that rebound, boys. Oh my goodness, with Mirasan down there, it's scary doing that. Right to Tatum, though. One more pass to Timmy, and that's a great assist. We're in the fourth quarter. Tatum's open. Easy mid-range, easy greens. That jumper, I'm telling you guys, it's nice. Alright, so it's a four-point game. I must be playing like a casual today. I don't want to get into a sweaty mode because then it'll just not be fun. Catch and shoot. Green bean. I'm just going to keep debuting how nice that jumper is though, man. One of you has a mismatch and it's going to be Timmy D. Four seconds. Say less. I'm going into a fadeaway. Give me that. Oh! Alright, so it's a one-point game. So let me stop playing stupid. I just realized I've been using my starters like this whole game. Cut through Tatum. Easy pass easy dunk those slow dunks are definitely not it though all right so i decided to bring my bench in because i prefer not to lose this game so let's go ahead and close this out tatum catch and shoot a little contested oh you're not clutch like that lebron james definitely is though all right let me give tatum the chance to be clutch here one more time hit that screen they're gonna read it way faster but clutch shooter should work there hall of fame clutch shooter is good for these situations that's kind of why i wanted to keep the game close just to see how that badge would really work but now that you guys have seen how this badge works i can go ahead and close this game out let's go to tatum oh he's got bruce bowen on me i actually kind of like that go get around that screen there we go catch and shoot easy midi clutch shooters coming through with a full whites all right so now it's a tie game i'm gonna need that badge to glow like a mother shut your mouth i see oh my god i just turned the ball over i can't lose this game give me that i baited that okay thank you let me close this game out because now 2k playing too much catch and shoot tatum green bean hall of fame clutch shooter that's crazy 
give me that rebound this is over oh my god he hit the game winner of all shots the boy tatum shining and showing his moment once again we win this game 71 to 68 let's go ahead let's check out the box score and let's see how our boy tatum did all right so as you guys can see man in 20 minutes tatum came to perform gave us 47 points two assists a steal only two turnovers 19 for 31 from the field though amazing and nine for 15 from three as well very very nice that clutch shooter in the fourth quarter was actually nuts it was a little scary keeping the game that close because there was times where we could have just taken off but i wanted to see if that clutch shooter badge really did anything because every time i've had that badge i've never really been in a scenario where i got to really see it but we really got to see it there because i literally passed it to tatum i just hucked it up and boom just like that it was game but man did it feel good using this tatum whether he's a good card or not i will say he's a very good amethyst card but i'm not sure he's probably going for a very expensive price right now aka 90 to 100k just because of the collection he'll probably go down in price but you celtics fans will definitely enjoy this card a ton his defense again is definitely exposable he doesn't have clamps but he is a fun card to use if you're looking to have fun on this game which i know can be tough this tatum is definitely the card to use i like his jumper way more now that he has quick draw now i wouldn't really keep this card but i don't really have an option because i locked him in for luca but tatum is definitely a card i'm gonna try to incorporate into some squad builders and stuff in the future because he's always a fun card to use every year in 2k even with his release being changed again the quick draw really makes an impact on that jumper but uh yeah guys with that being said this is gonna be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video a ton if you did don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation with that being said guys i'm out i hope you all have an awesome day and take care